Hi, hello there. Hello, hi, hello, hi. How are you doing? How are you doing? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry for that. Sorry about that. I have freshly washed hair. Isn't it luscious? Look at my luscious locks. Uh, I guess hair does not really look all that luscious while it is still wet. But usually I would wait for my hair to dry before streaming again. But I kinda don't have that time right now. So we are just gonna hop right back in. We did whoop Will's battle yesterday. So we are going to continue from here. Where are we going now? A good question. Let's see what's in here. I okay, that's the online arena. Gotcha, gotcha. Fair enough, fair enough. Where are we going from here on out? We kind of finished the blue caves, I think. So the next thing would probably be the goblin stuff. Wait, uh, did we finish the blue caves? I'm not sure where I ended yesterday. I think the blue caves are probably done. And for now, let's just head to the right side. In case of doubt, in any 2D games ever, head over to the right side. The right side usually is where the plot is happening, where the bosses are, where the action is. Oh. Path leads to the eastern part of the sanctuary, the stronghold dungeon and the ancient wood. You have beaten enough champion monsters to ascend to the rank of Keeper Novice and you completed the Keeper Duel training. You've tested your metal against monster and keeper alike, and therefore are ready to face the stronghold dungeon and the ancient woods. You might proceed now. I mean, I was able to proceed anyway until you so rudely stopped me, so I don't know what all that was about. Ah, hello, hello. Well, here we are, here we are. Let's go somewhere, shall we? Let's go somewhere. What do we have here? Hey, grapes. And this one. Alright, ah, the pressure plate. I do need something that can activate the treasure pl treasure plate, the pressure plate. There we go. And now I need to be able to leave the dungeon again. Also, don't you worry there, crack in the wall. Don't you worry, I did see ya. I did see ya, my beloved crack in the wall. So I do need to have my snake again. My beloved snack. So, what do we have over here? Ah, another chest. And a cut- Ooh, katana. What does it do? I should have probably just checked it out while I was still on the page. I don't know if I've ever found the katana. Okay, I must have found it already. Crit chance and... Okay, I see now. That's a very useful item that I do need to use on a katsurka at some point. Holy shit. I don't think any of these other walls are breakable. Most of the times they are marked if they are breakable, but sometimes they are not, which makes it kind of confusing. Also, this dungeon is a nightmare to get out of. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It is a dungeon. You don't want the dungeon to be easily escapable. But still, I do not like it. Hello there, new monster. Sittle Knights, right? Night Crackle Knights. The Levolution is the Sittle Knight. And the Grummy. So, what kind of monsters do we need here? They are vulnerable to fire and water. Well, that's the Vertrag in a nutshell, but I don't really have good other... Eh, hey, let's go for King Blob and let's go for... You know what, let's bring the Azarak in. Let's bring both of the big demon boys in. So, what do you have to offer there? What do you have to offer? Barrier for the entire team? Why not? The Azarak might already have it, but why not? Good, Vertrag, you're gonna... Finish it off after we shadow storm the zone. Good damage there, good damage there. Big question is would we rather finish off the Karami first? I think I want to finish off the Karami first. I have been thinking about changing the team up by the way. Since we do have the option to switch a lot of stuff around, I think I am going to switch a lot of the creatures in and out. But I'm only going to do so in between streams, so we are not. you don't have to wait for me to switch a lot of shit around. You are just going to enjoy your time here and I, in due time, will actually adjust a couple of things. Because actually just switching the monsters around, that does not take long. But actually uh, changing stuff up for real, that's another different story. That's an entirely different story. Uh, because that means new items, new food and all that stuff. And yes, I could have switched the Grud, killed the Grammy, but he was so low I felt like the Shadow Storm might kill him off. Okay, he's not gonna get killed off by Shadow Storm now, but 
That happens, that happens. Once again, I got too greedy. So you, please get rid of a few of those debuffs there. So you are the only one that can finish the Sizzle Knight and... Hmm... Do I see a chance to kill both of you in a turn? I don't think I can finish both of you off at once. But I do see a better chance to get both of you done this way. Goodbye! So, Vertrag starting to do some decent damage. So he's less of a support and offensive hybrid now. He's more of a pure of, uh, offensive support hybrid now. And now finish this off and we can move on with our lives. I should probably still use a lot of them, but uh, so until I've really understood their moves, that I'm still gonna use a lot of these creatures. The ones I have kind of understood by now, I think, is the Brutus because he's strong but simple, and I'm honestly considering switching out Marika. I should keep it on the team though for the levels. Same goes for Scorch, so yeah, I guess these two will have to stay on the team. But the rest is switchable. The Atharag, for example, even though he's probably our most powerful unit right now, is kind of switch outable because we understand what he's doing. Also, Yulia is here. Hey, Insane Zishiro, I knew I heard some footsteps behind me. Looks like you're a keeper novice now. Great! But you do realize that being a monster keeper also means you've got some responsibility to take care of the sanctuary and all the monsters, right? Oh, I bet everybody's told you that. They always put the fate of the whole sanctuary on our shoulders since we are the spectral keepers. Anyway, if you got the time, you should come to the ancient woods. The goblin tribes have been getting rowdy and there's rumors of a new goblin king who's rallying the tribes. It's been almost a hundred years since the last time that happened was my great-grandmother who beat the Goblin King back then. So I wanna see if I can live up to her legacy and boost my rank and save the sanctuary in the process. Can't hurt to have another Spectral Keeper around to cleave the path through the band of goblins. So that's where I am going. It's just east from here and through some more rooms of the Stronghold Dungeon. See ya! Out of all the NPC's keepers, she is the only one that is halfway competent. The other ones are just useless. Leonard is way too arrogant and Wilhelm is a coward. But I guess it's good to have at least one competent person on the team. Hey, do I have anything that activates the lightning stuff? Yes, I do. Boop. And I think there's another... I, no, 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 don't fall down there. Because I think I spy out of the corner of my little eye something up there. Oh. Can't use those yet, interesting. Uh, does any of you have something that lights up the darkness yet? Hmm, looks bad. Looks like we might be out of luck on that end, but that's okay, I think it's a rather easy to find chest here. Yeah, there we go. So it's only to check if there is a wall. I don't think so, but what can you do? Okay, so we've got a little bit of gold here. Now let's explore for that. Aye, and there's the evolution as well. Let's kill it just to see we can get the evolution uh, catalysator out as well. So, fire and wind. Once again, it's probably for drag. I mean, it's definitely Murica for once. Murica is getting a chance to do something here. And Scorch, why not? Scorch, why not? I should probably lean more heavily towards the fire side of things. And that means for me to bring in the Vertrag as well. So, power buff, might and sorcery, not really useful with that many casters on the team. Regeneration, yeah, I think regeneration active right away is useful to have. Lightning bolt, featherstorm, okay, featherstorm is as always the best setup spell that I have. Well, maybe not the best, but one of the best. Ooh, excuse me, and we have not upgraded ignite yet, that's a little annoying. But still, there's a little clear power difference between our creatures here, so I don't feel too worried about anything here. So, the next big fight that's upcoming will be around level 16, so we do have to get a few levels in. And ouch, that actually hurt quite a fair amount. So, that will hurt a fair amount. So, Featherstorm first, just to get the combo meter going. And can Ignite kill? No. So, I think it's better to... 
burn the other one and hopefully solar ray will finish the job it won't okay that's a bit of a shame yeah okay that's a little close one but nothing i can do about that now ah it's always so annoying when you heal right after you've almost killed them these things might actually be able to stop me there they are doing a pretty decent job Okay, you know what, let's save the explosion for now. Let's not use you as a set upper. Let's use you as a finisher this time around. So explosion could finish the job, solar rays might do the same. Let's see how much the explosion, okay, the explosion would not finish you. So I think it is better to at least get rid of one of them for now. Always get rid of one of them first. Do as I say, not as I do in this regard. <laughs> ah, So I am playing this game right now on my Switch as well, mostly because I just got it on the Switch and I, I kind of have little to do at work a lot of the time. <laughs> it's kind of my break room game because during my break no one else is on break so I have no one to talk to. And that's not the only thing here, that it is not the only thing in this situation. The other thing would be the fact that the break room kind of has a very bad internet connection. So I am limited at, at, at the amount of content that I can doom scroll through with during my break. So there we go. Losing a couple of buffs. That does not matter though. Ow! Ow! That hurts. That hurts my man. Okay, regeneration is still active on all of them. That's something. Do I have anything that can remove debuffs? Okay, you can remove debuffs. I think that will be necessary right now. Okay, armor break is probably the best one to get rid of. And I think I want to encapsulate the Vertrag. It's not like he could do a major amount of damage here anyway. So, what are the stacks that you have there? Are these age stacks? Are you an actually an aging creature? Because I've been thinking about the team that revolves around aging. Yeah, you are actually doing some aging stuff. Okay, good to know that these things can age. Good to know. Aging as a mechanic, of course. But going by that, we can actually do something with this creature for a more interesting team that I've been considering. So, Vertrag, what do you have in store for me? You're resistant to water, so I do want to finish you off with a wind move, perhaps. Ugh, and I am running low on energy, but we can still clutch this fight off. So, it's not actually a close one, but we are probably gonna have a very shitty rating. Because, let's be honest, we didn't barely do anything during the entire fight. But now we know for future that these things can age. We gained some valuable information there. There we go. Free, okay, honestly, a 3 star rating is better than I would ex have expected to be. So, what do we have here? What can we level up now? Monsters depart to recover 7.5% of max health when, trigger, when they trigger shock damage. Okay. Wind attacks deal more damage. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, I think I guess it's going to the question what are we going to skill for? We could go magical or we could go physical. I kind of see more value in magic, if I'm completely honest here with you. Magical damage hits all enemies. Why do you have two separate magical damage hits all enemies trait lines? I do wonder about that. But in this trait line, definitely the thunderstorm here. Hmm. I should have probably not taken the explosion and taken the explosive blast instead here. Mana regeneration for the whole party, that's not bad. Increase attack by 10% of monster. Oh yes, that's a very good one for a creature like this. That's a very strong one for the leading creature here. So Bruno, Brutus, my good old friend. Stronger flurry of blows, why not, why not? Every time you want to take the hit, it gains a... Oh yes, yes, revenge. Lovely, lovely ability. Azarak. 
Every hit has a 50 million chance to apply a stack of blind. Okay, additional stacks of blind, not bad. Additional evasion, also nice to have. Enemies with armor break get their critical chance decreased, but okay, hmm. I think for now I want Darken. King Blob on the other hand, what can you do for the team? What can you do for me? I think King Blob is at the point where I actually do want to increase his basic attack abilities. And you, Vertrag, you do have your fire, you do have your eyes, both of which are kind of nice. Oh, interesting. You have an alternative fire damage source here. Apply sorcery as well. We do have a lot of sorcerers on our team. Ba -ba -ba. When this monster applies a buff, it gains a charge stack. Interesting, interesting. Oh, and there we have aging. Okay, we are going for aging then. We are definitely going for aging then. So, for every 12 charge stack spent by an ally, the plant burns weakness or armor break. Alright, I think for now I would rather just have... Strong abilities. Let's take the mud cannon because I do have more fire abilities now. So, and let's move on with our lives. Let's move on with our life. How do you remove? Oh, I do remember how to remove those, but I don't think I can use that ability yet. Yeah, levitate. We do not have that one yet available. Ba -ba 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 -da. I think we can open up another exit here. Uh, could you excuse me? Excuse oh, excuse me! I was just passing through. Okay, we do need more wind damage here. So, Azarak, your turn. And Murica, Murica will be enough to take care of the Grammy, but we should take care of the Gurus first. Aside from you two, who would be nice here? They are quite good at outlasting you, but... Either King Blob, you know what, why not? King Blob for the support. King Blob for the support. And we are gonna go full utility on one of you, one of you. Let's go for America first. So, America, America. Shadowstorm will still be my first option here, just for the chance of applying armor breaks. Okay, no armor breaks yet, but it is still quite good. It is still very decent damage. So, oh god, they are so tanky. You know what, I am going to finish off the small guy first still. Just because the big guys are way tankier. Can you miss on a heal? I don't know, I don't think it's possible, but maybe I'm mistaken about that one. Ooh, double armor break, I don't like that one. Triple armor break, I don't like that one either. So, instead, let's remove a couple of things from you. I don't like the amount of damage you've taken in a single hit there. Then, can Shadowstorm kill? No. Can Explosion kill? Not quite. Okay, you know what? Let's go for Chilling Winds instead. Just to start chipping away at them. Hey, and Armor Break. Okay, that's lovely. The Explosion should be strong enough now. There we go. Okay, that's one taken care of and another one quite weakened. Okay, getting there. We are getting there. Usually, whenever I see these guys in teams, the first evolution is actually used in the evolutionary line, which is interesting. I do like that. Okay, let's go full utility for you, Azarak. Think. Uh... Okay, you know what? Maybe full utility does not do as much on you. That might have been a bad call. But let's still go with it. Let's still roll with it. Not like we have much of a choice, but rolling with it. Can you... Do we think the chilling wind will kill after a feather jaw storm against the other? Let's hope so. Let's hope so. I am banking on this one for now. Ah, looks bad. Looks bad. Unless I'm lucky with like two crits. Okay, I was not lucky with like two crits. You are in AoE death range, and the Azorak has AoE, so that's something at least. Uh, restore, I guess, again? Uh, you know what? Barrier. Do you have barrier? No, none of you have barrier yet. 
none of you have barrier yet so shadow storm take one guy out maybe apply armor break to the other one hey we were lucky there's the armor break we were lucky with our armor break so okay one crew left one crew to, uh, to defeat this is going to happen this turn and we can move on with our lives let's restore first though just to have a little bit of a better health rating at the very end uh, can I finish you in one move? Yes, I can finish you in one more move. I'm still not sure if it counts every single move or if it just takes count the number of turns taken. That's something I have never figured out in this game. Okay, ah yes, and there's a shortcut. Well, is it a shortcut? Hmm, I guess kind of is, depending on which side you're coming from. It's kind of one of the more unnecessary... Okay, but we can't go through here. Okay, fair enough. So, let's head back for now. Let's head back up for now. Then drop down on the other side. Drop down from the other side. Doesn't matter how hard I try. So, ba -ba 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 -da good. Oh, more Gruurs. I mean, they do give good XP, but I kind of don't want to fight every last one Gruul here. Mostly because it takes a while. And we have seen this fight a couple of times already. I don't know what I... Act oh, probably the one above me. Okay. So I guess this is another dead end. That's actually a good thing. Dead ends are a good thing when exploring because that means you are done in one direction. Always thank the dead end for being there. I do wonder if that's a controversial take in a sense. Because I guess a lot of people would probably be like, oh god damn it, a dead oh a dead end. Now I have to search for another route. But I like dead ends just because they tell me okay I'm finally finished exploring in this direction. So uh yeah, yes, bring the scotch as well. So are we starting with regeneration? Why not? Why not? An early regeneration never hurt nobody. Then a shadow storm. Maybe get lucky with another couple of armor breaks to tell us where to hit next. Okay, we hit the one thing that does not, we cannot care actually hurt for extra damage here. So, I guess ignite it will be. Let's burn some eyes out. And let's hope mm, you're not actually taking all that much damage from the burn ticks. Alright. Little bit of a shame, but what can you do? What can you do about that? What can you do with the drunken sailor? What can you do with the drunken sailor? What can you do with the drunken sailor early in the morning? Okay, I do want to go for another shadow storm here. Might have wanted to charge it up a little more. Might not have wanted to charge it up a little more. Who knows? Who cares? So, ignite for you. And then we are just going for an ice move against the knight. Because I don't think any of you can actually heal and... Okay, no. I was hoping maybe one of the eyes is going to get burned to death, but looks like even a weakened eye is still strong enough. And oh, you are hurting me there. Oh, and you have actually taken out the Vertrag. Okay, that's bad. This is bad now. Okay, so Shadow Storm to finish off at least one of you. And I guess we can go for a soul beam for the knight because the knight is definitely not going to die this turn around. The eye might. No. It doesn't even move its health bar. The burn ticks are doing nothing to it. I'm still hoping for it. I'm still hoping for it, but it's not happening. Ah oh well. Still might at least be a free star here. Okay, yeah, free star. Fair fine. Works for me. Works for me. So I think we missed out on a piece of loot somewhere here, right? Oh no, that's the way we had to unlock to get back, alright. So let's climb back up, shall we? Because I think I saw a chest up there. And I will need my bird to get to it. Oh, I never cleared this room, alright, I remember now, I remember now. Ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. So because there are a few interesting mechanics revolving around aging and charges that I've never used yet. And it would be rather interesting. There we go. Iron! Okay, and is there anything else behind this wall? I don't think so, but it's always good to double check. Nothing. Alright, let's move on with our lives then. 
Let's move on with our lives then. Well, the only way is down. And the only way is still down. Alright. Well, I guess we could go up to open this one. This... Ah, okay, but it closes over here. Huh. Okay, this is a weird gateway here. And I guess it's better to have this one open in future. Oh, I dropped down quite far. Maybe I should check the intersections beforehand. Really? There's no secret here. This is just a structure that has been built for God knows which reason. Okay, and... I, okay, I think I can get there, but I do need to jump, to time my jumps better. So, let's see about this one. Hoppa, and there we go. Hey, the morning star. I do like the morning star. This is a plus two morning star. That might actually be better than the one Brutus has right now. Like, a lot better. Okay, okay. So, we could move on, or we could try to pull this lever. Where is the lever gonna take us? Hmm, doesn't look like... Anywhere. Okay, so now we can move back up and pull the lever again and probably open it up on the side, right? Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's check out this floor first. Oh god, I messed up. Oh, um, uh, hello, hello. <laughs> okay, there was no way around these guys here. Magic and wind. Magic and wind. Well, Atherak, that's your job then. Ah, uh, yeah, let's take Marika with us as well, and for the last one... Scorchy, your job. Your job, my Scorching friend. Mm, applies Might and Sorcery. Once again, not a useful combination of abilities to have. Okay, I guess we are just gonna start with the Featherstorm for the extra. Brawl of the Ticks. So, you then can ignite something. Because the burn ticks will at least do something, even though the damage is pretty much neglectable against these things. The mad eyes. Are they called mad eyes? They are called Warnauge in German. Which would translate to mad eye. So I do think they are called mad eye. In case you are wondering why I played this specific game in German the first time around. Well, the answer is quite simple. The first time around I played it with Xbox Game Pass. And... A thing about Xbox Game Pass is that it is kind of locked to your computer language and my computer language is German so the, ga so the Game Pass just goes, well, like, looks like he wants to play this game in German then. Oh, I should have gone for the other one, I should have gone for the lifesteal one, God damn it! Oh well. So, can you finish off the guy? Yes, you can. Excellent. Did he even collect age stacks? I didn't pay attention if he had any age stacks on him. Oh well. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, that's more damage than I would like to see. Warnauge is such a good debuffer. Warnauge is probably the best debuffer that you can uh, easily get because it does so many things. Uh, let's damage you a little. Can you finish it off with a Shadow Storm? Nice. Okay, so that's one of you down and the other one blind. That, that works for me. And there goes the mud cannon. Let's see if the regeneration helps us stay alive. It all depends on if you're trying to... Okay. Okay, acid rate only hits one guy here. So we can properly just finish you off now. And one, two, three, four, five. And the explosion for the last hit. For now, just a little bit of earth magic. And the finish. Oh, wait, that's physical damage. I want magical damage for my ranking. For my annual sales performance. Only a two star? Come on. I thought I did pretty decently there. But I guess I will take it. Hey, we found another waypoint. Always nice to have a waypoint. And don't worry, I'm seeing it. I am seeing the hidden treasure room. Green gems, blue gems, and red gems, and a pressure plate we are not heavy enough for. Ba -ba 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 oh god. And there we are. Okay, do we want to go back or do we want to... It looks like a little bit of a drop down, so I'm inclined to explore here beforehand. So, to see where this is getting me. Ah, Just opening this one up. Alright, lovely. 
So, where's the, what's on the right side then? Another lever puzzle. Alright, if we move through here, we open this up. And then... Okay... Oh, I think I understand now. No. Okay, this does not make sense to me right now, but I think we need to be on the other side to actually solve it. Okay, that makes it easy. That makes choosing where to go a lot easier. Hello, Mad Eyes. None of you actually touched me. Oh, so you don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right to battle me. Ba -ba -ba. I should probably renew the entire food buffs as well. Oh, I don't think we fought you before. At least not in this playthrough, so let's do just that. Murica, Arthurak, and uh, Brutus, you are actually low-key useless against the Mad-Eye. Yeah, I think Scorch. Ah, then against Scorch you did kind of underperform. You know what, Vertrag. Let's use the Vertrag for now. And how are we going to start this up? How are we going to do this? Which of these is the best opener in this situation? I guess Shadow Storm. Does he get a lot of couple of hits in? So now let's move on. I think it's best if we finish off one of the things first. I guess the Mad Eye is the bigger threat, generally speaking. Just because those Mad Eyes tend to. Uh, Put a punch of debuffs on our team and let's be honest, right now we don't have the best ways of dealing with debuffs. We don't have anything that automatically removes them and King Slime usually does not keep up with them. Okay, let's try this one again, alright, shall we? Hey, there's the armor breaker I'm looking for. Uh, lightning Bolt would not kill there, but Solar Ray as well. So that leaves us with two little guys, two more little guys, two more little guys that are just weak to win and not specifically to magic, which makes this a whole shit ton easier. Hmm. Ah. I'm thankful for the increased difficulty though, because I can see this being quite unchallenging on regular New Game Plus without increased difficulty. But I guess that's what it's there for. And I'm also happy that there's a casual difficulty. I did not really look at what the casual difficulty actually changes. But I'm sure it changes something. So... Yeah, you know what? Let's finish one off. I know I'm always tempted to not waste damage, but I'm wasting health if I'm getting hit because I don't decide to not finish something off. So, okay, now we can end this. Chilling wind to maybe get an armor break. There we go. Armor break. Lovely, lovely. Feather storm to amp up that meter. And la finish it off with lightning and thunder. Okay, that's not really lightning and thunder. And it's not even finished off. So, false advertising, I guess. False advertising on Insane Zero's YouTube channel. Wait, this is not my YouTube channel. I'm even for, for, for wrongfully advertising my channel here. Ah oh well, okay, this is probably just gonna be another two star, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Aww. Hey, and we got a little XP. Just a little. Just a smidgen. Okay, we can't go further up from here. But we can go further down to the left. Oh! Hey! Stronghold dungeon key. That's one of the thi Why are both of these keys in the same place? I mean, it's the other way around, like they will be with the woods, because in the woods there is a, a door where there are two doors right behind one another, and you do need both of the keys there. Over there, of course, both of the keys are not just in the same place. So, wind, wind, and... Okay, I'm in the full team, so let's bring Brutus. Brutus did not see much daylight over the last few turns. Ah, uh, Feather Gatling is probably the best starter here. And then Chilling Wind again. If we're lucky, Brutus can take it out in this turn. Ah, uh, let's find out. If you... Okay, you're not lucky. It's not a crit. It's not a crit. Maybe a crit would not have killed either way. But this one definitely did not kill. 
Okay, so and I think we need to shadow storm there. Shadow storm alone won't be enough to kill you. Hmm. Let's go for flurry of blows instead. Just to start it up. It's a pretty decent combo starter as well. And finish the job with Shadow Storm. So that's one of you defeated and the other one is soon to follow. Don't think both of you have armor break. Mm, we might actually get a decent rating this time around. I should probably take a look at why my ratings are so low right now. I would assume it's a mixture of time and health. That's keeping me down, that's holding me back. Okay, can you finish there? Please. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Just another flurry of blows. Just so one more is done for. I don't really like using AoEs when there's only two enemies left, but at the same time I'm like... Before I waste another turn on this, I'm just gonna flurry of blows you. So let's use... Okay, I mean, there's really no good argument for using a heavy burst for anything but the final move. And... Oh my god, you're actually gonna live another turn. And you're actually going to take out my beloved Azarok. Okay, I definitely do need some levels. How much level are you? You're only level 11, so you should not be able to manhandle me quite that well. I mean, I'm still winning, so I guess I'm still manhandling you. But goddamn, goddamn, I feel like I do need a little bit of a power spike here. Oh, right, you can fall down into this area. And there's the magma chamber. Okay, so we can't move through the magma chamber yet. In case you're wondering why not, well, there you have it. There you have the reason. Okay, let's move now. Let's move on. We do need a mount to get through the magma chamber. And we are a little off from the next mount. Mm -hmm. Can we illuminate this pathway? No, we can't. Okay, let's go up then. Go up, up, up. Looks like we are trapped in a puzzle of sorts. And um, yes, we have been in several puzzles already, my friend. The only way out of this part of the dungeon is through this room. We'll have to solve this puzzle. Uh, yes, I, I was gonna do so anyway, so don't you worry about that. Don't you worry a pretty little head about that. Okay, I need to get back there now, I think. Hmm. Oh wait, no, I can just move above here. Okay. And now we have opened up something else. We might get stuck on one or two puzzles here. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you, this will eventually happen, most likely. I did uh, take some time to figure out one of the lever puzzles today on my own game flu. Not because I wanted to play ahead of the stream, mostly because it's what I did during my break, as I already mentioned. Okay, how... Okay, so it's pretty much... Okay, you've opened it up right now, but how are you gonna get the chest? I low-key expect this chest to only be... Ah. Okay. To only be reachable when you circle back around. At least that's what it feels like. Um, is that one of the dungeon keys? Oh, yeah, it is. It actually is. Boop. And we are back here. So let's get the chest first before we forget about it. Because I am pretty sure that we... Oh. Huh. And we found a chest that we did actually miss. Alright. Lucky us, I guess. Lucky us, I guess. So I've been thinking about doing a more diverse streaming schedule right now, by the way. Because I do understand that it can be kind of disappointing for those that want to watch me play more action-oriented games like let's say for example uh, Elden Ring uh, being with the, those being replaced and tie oh huh there is a ledge there why can't I jump up on this ledge 
Hmm. None of you have in any kind of... You know what, that's... Nothing, okay. Hmm. What am I missing here? Maybe we need to ignite something, okay. Oh! Hmm, no, still not, still not. I don't know what's blocking me here, but something is. Hmm. But yeah, I don't think I can get through this without the illumination ability. Shame, but sometimes it do be like that. Okay, so let's move this lever. I don't know which of those are going to actually affect the chest on the other side. I would assume at least one of them is going to affect the chest. Okay, that's one of them. Okay, so this is one of the levers that can affect the chest. Good to know, good to know. What about you then? Are you affecting the chest? Oh. Okay, it might be this one, but I don't know yet. So I want to check out. And we can't check out this one either. Hmm, so we kind of have to do a lucky guess, I see. You know what, let's do it, let's do it. Let's see if the, the opportunities of the chest present themselves to us now. Because I honestly don't know, it's been forever since I did this puzzle. This specific puzzle. Ayy. And can I get over there? Okay, I can. Barely. I should probably equip my, my falcon, my hawk or whatever it is. Final destination for Phoenix only, Fox only. Okay, so that's not it. That's not... Ha that, that has not been it. Hmm. I doubt that the final lever here is going to change how this part looks. No. One of you is not like the others. And is it you? No, still not. I think we have tested both of the levers all the way on the right side, right? I do think it is this one. Mostly because... Hmm, but... Oh, okay. Okay. Now we might be actually able to go there. Mostly I think this one because the other one that actually affected the chest was down there in the corner as well. Well, down in the car in the little crack. You know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? I hope you do know what I mean. So there is a non-zero chance that this is our little hint at which of them is going to affect. Okay, we closed it apparently. Oh, or maybe we affected it with something else. Alright. Let's find out. We have pulled this lever. And it did affect it. Alright, I got gotcha. it. Huh! Why did it work now? I'm confused, but I guess I've got a wizard, wizard head out of it. I don't quite understand why this worked now. But sometimes puzzle games do be like that. And yes, I would not call it a puzzle game, but there is a non-zero amount of puzzles. Oh, and there is a non-zero amount of mad eyes. Okay, I mean Azarak, why the fuck not? Azarak, you can just spam your AoE. And Fatag, no, maybe, you know what, Fatag, you're a good card, but so is Scotch. Shadow Storm! And there are the armor breaks we are looking for. Lovely, just lovely. So, let's see if we can take out one of you in one turn. The answer being... Nah, looking bad. But hey, 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 hey. That's still a good start. Hey, and he actually missed three times, so that's pretty strong. That's one... I just love Atarak. Even though I consider switching him out, I do love the boy. So, is your Shadowstorm strong enough to kill yet? No, it is not. So let's instead use one move first 
Is your Shadowstone strong enough to kill yet? Not quite. So we are gonna finish on a Shade Storm this turn around. I will just assume we are gonna get the kill now with the. Yes, okay, the burn tick did the job. The burn tick actually got us the kill. Lovely, lovely. Ow, ow, ow. Stop burning my monsters, please. So, we did lose our friend again. Sad, but what can you do? Okay, let's wipe out the left one first, because I do want to have the burn ticks active on the other one, even though they will hardly matter. What do I want to have the burn ticks? You know what? They matter so little that I would rather soul beam right now. They matter so little that I would rather do that. Ah. Okay, that's it now. Probably soul beam to finish it, or maybe something else could have worked. Oh, I should have gone for a burn to get one little extra bit of rating for applying another burn. And there's a level up. Nice. So, Scorch, what do you have for us? Ah, that's still the charge thing. Hmm. <sighs> Applies barrier to the whole party. Applies, applies might, sorcery and glory. I guess I am going to upgrade ignite first, but I think it's time to do more with the support skills that you have available. So over here, let's go for the AOE thunderstorm, I guess. But I think we are gonna stick with the physical feather storm right for now. And there is quite a few thunder. We get it up. Creatures vulnerable to thunder down here. Okay, so... And with you, Brutus. Mm, first impact. Increase the base damage of the first hit of an attack by an additional 30%. Great move for Heavy Punch, yes. Atarak. There's always choices for you, isn't there? So I guess we're gonna go for the Whirlwind just so we can unlock this tree further. Oh, we're going for Chilling Wind to have a stronger Chilling Wind for now. Because magic, uh, because the Whirlwind only becomes useful to us once we can unlock the Gale Tree here. Then again, Martial Prowess would be nice. Ah, there are so many good things I could get for this monster. You know what, let's get the Whirlwind first, just so we can open up the possibilities over there. And you, King Slime, you are supposed to get the Slime Volley that hits all enemies. That's nice, that's lovely, isn't it? And you, on the other hand, every buff action applies one additional random buff. Yes, please. So, there we go, we have a new, uh, our new abilities unlocked. A and there's Will. Oh! There you are. I was just taking a break to examine the architecture of this place. The stronghold dungeon was created as a natural habitat for monsters that I prefer to dwell in, well, dungeons. Most monsters are really peculiar about where they want to live. Honestly, that's one of the things I really like about the world building in this game. That it's actually like, you know what? Something uh, that there is a reason for a gigantic dungeon area uh, that is just to be a natural habitat. Anyway, the dungeon's library should be in this direction, underneath the sewers of the stronghold dungeon. I don't quite understand why you would want to have libraries down the dungeon, because I'm pretty sure the moist and cold air is probably gonna damage those books, but who am I to judge? We should split up so that we can cover more ground in these labyrinthian corridors. I'll go ahead. Alrighty then, let's move on. Let us move on. I can't get up there. Mm, but I can't... Okay. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. Let's try this one again, shall we? Shall we? Ba -ba. With an avian ally like we have. Could not be too bad. Ba -ba. Can I get up there? Yes, and now we're over here. Lovely. There you are, Kenwell. 
Insane Zishiro, you just missed it, there was this champion monster, it looked so menacing with his champion aura and it just kept staring at me and I don't know what came over me, but I just walked over to it and challenged it to a fight and you know what, I actually beat it, I'm so proud of my monsters. I don't know if you actually beat it, you might be making it up, but just as I was about to continue another champion appeared, just like the first one, what a coincidence. Well, and then you came, so I figure you can take care of this one. Go on, I will watch from over here. Can I talk to this frog to ask if that's actually true? No. <laughs> there you are, the beetleoid, or whatever it's called. Yeah, it's actually called beetleoid. You are vulnerable to earth, so King Blob and Scorch, you two are getting combined this time around. And you are resistant to wind. I mean, the other rock is still good. Or do I have something else that is resistant to wind? Mm, no, it does not look like it. Otherwise... I think... You know what? Let's bring Brutus. Let's have this combination of creatures for now. So, channel regeneration and sidekick. Maybe. For now, let's start by setting up a barrier. I think that's a good idea for a boss fight. Doesn't hurt to have a barrier, more like the opposite. And are we going to ignite it? Yes, I think to set, uh, setting up the burn ticks first uh, is useful. And then, time for the heavy punch! Ooh, that's big damage. That's big damage. Brutus doing the numbers there. <laughs> okay, so now that the barrier is already set up. Slime Volley would do... Well, Slime Volley is probably not even the best because it only hits all enemies, so against a single target, not as great. Channel Regeneration and Sidekicks. Yeah, let's give those buffs to Brutus as well, because Brutus, you will do the big damage numbers here. You, on the other hand, you can still do some damage numbers, Scorchy. It's kind of funny how the neutral monster that's not gonna land efficient hits is actually the one that is going to do a lot for the, of the work here. Am I going to use a power focus? Nah, we're just gonna punch. We're just gonna punch, okay. No increased damage this time around. We don't have a way to get rid of your buffs, which is a bit of a shame. So, are we going to restore our little friend here? I think that's a good plan. Because he does have a debuff as well, so why not, why not? But we are running... Ah, oh, looks like we do have mana problems on Scorchy over here. That's always the problem once you first upgrade all of your abilities. You are starting to run into mana trouble. So I should probably sm smack Channeler down on Scorchy as well. Mm, okay, decent damage you did there. We are regenerating, we are regenerating. So I want full utility on Scorchy as well. Just to help him out with the mana situation. And there we go. Now we can Soul Beam again. Now we can actually Soul Beam again. Lovely, lovely. And another Heavy Punch. As long as we are literally just doing Heavy Punches with Brutus, they are quite nice. They are quite nice because they don't take much mana. Ow, Scorchy, my poor boy. Yeah, you know what, let's make an AoE heal, because everyone is vulnerable right now. Might as well as protect them, might as well help the boys out a little bit there. I don't think a heavy punch can kill here, even if it's a lucky one, at least not on level 2. Maybe level 3, maybe a lucky level 3, but it was not a lucky level 3, so we'll have to do with it. But the next turn is going to be it. So King Slime, be so kind and... Oh, wait, you can't heal again, so I guess we're just gonna restore again. Scorchy, can you finish? I doubt it. But you can, Brutus, you can. Unless, of course, you miss. Okay, that's kind of awkward now. How the fuck... Why did you miss this one? From all the hits you could have missed so far, you missed the finishing blow. That's always awkward, Brutus. That's always awkward and you know it. Okay, even King Slime is starting to run low on stuff. So see, Brutus, see what you've done there? 
disappointing, disappointing. That's all I have to say there. But yeah, single moves like uh, with the heavy hit are probably the most vulnerable to misses here. Doesn't matter if you have six hits in your combo and one of them misses, but if you're going for a full uh, on assault with one strike, then that's something you need to be aware of. Look at that! The dungeon library should be behind that locked door. The key is probably another part of the stronghold dungeon. I'll just take a quick rest here and think up some new strategies with my monster. Yeah, you do that while I am just gonna open the door, yeah? Will, how do you feel now? Another part of the dungeon? You really think I would not have brought the key with me? Do you think me a fool? Do you think me a goddamn idiot? Let's just like you are, Will. Do you think I am that bloody stupid? Do you? No, I'm not. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, what's up here though? Is anything up here? Ah, that's the way back to where we can open a shortcut. This looks breakable. Is it just me or does this look breakable? Ah! So, what do we have here then? Okay. A little bit of a side corridor, interesting. Hey, and there's a chest. Ooh, crit ring plus three, that's pretty good. I think Scorchy, you could use a crit ring plus three because you were going for some crit stuff, weren't you? Also, your staff, need, staff needs to be upgraded. Or could someone else, you, you know what, no, Squatchy, you're the one that does some stuff with crit. Mm, mana and mana regen, defense and magic. I think for now the crit ring plus three is gonna do the trick on you. So let's move on, let's move on with our lives. Is there anything else over here? Because I. Ah, yes! The lever! Pull the lever, crunk! And it was the right lever for once. God, I saw a very funny TikTok today where a cat was just sitting on some kind of coat rack that was drilled to the wall or loosely montaged on the wall and pulled it down by just pressing on it. <laughs> and it had to pull the lever crunk. Wrong lever voice line over it. And yes, I, I, I mean, on one hand, I don't like seeing... Oh, come on. Come on now, Rocky. You can do that. Thank you very much. And on one hand, you could argue, oh my god, why are you laughing? The cat could have gotten hurt. And yes, that's true, but first things first, it's by its own fault in this scenario. Secondly, cats are very hard to hurt by falling down. For example, the cat of a friend of mine managed to jump off their balcony once. They are living in the fourth floor and it did get hurt, yes, but it only had a broken leg. Could you imagine Force jumping out of the fourth floor and getting away with it with nothing more than a broken leg? That's Keller impressive. Cats are nigh unkillable in this regard. So, Mr. Slime King, a barrier ball is what I want. So, uh, do we want the whirlwind? Wait, oh wait. Oh, there's literally no difference here other than this one. Huh, weird, okay. Uh, hit all enemies. Do we want this as a finisher or do we want this just... You know what, let's go Shadow Storm and then AoE. That's maybe... Okay, that's pretty decent. Maybe we can take care of all of you at once for once. That would be an interesting way to go about things. So, you are gonna put out all of your debuffs. Oh, right, you have the laser cannon of God, I forgot. This is one of the most intimidating moves if you have seen it for the first time, because I distinctively remember during my first playthrough seeing this happen for the first time and going like, what the hell? Because back then I did have weaker monsters as well, and you might imagine the amount of damage I took because of that. Hey, and there's an armor break. Nice, lovely. And another thunderstorm! Lightning and the thunder. Feel the thunder. Lightning and the thunder. Oh, and one miss. And two misses! One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Okay, so our AoE magic combo kind of works out for us right now. Kind of working nicely. So, Slime King, Slime King. 
Full utility for the Azarok as well, would you be so kind? Nice. So, Shadow Storm again, and if we get another armor break on number one, then... Well, a first armor break on number one, I would not be complaining about that. Okay, so the middle one is gonna die next turn. We are getting through them very fast, so this seems to be the best working combo against screws we have right now. So, Slime King, Slime King, do me a slime. No, you're doing me a... Ah, uh, you know what, maybe I'm just gonna go for Restore, because... The Falcon hasn't taken any damage so far. And take out one of them. Hey, you actually took out two of them. Lovely. Well done, my man. Well done. So we can actually finish this this turn round. Nice. So they all died in a single turn. Lovely. Hey, and we finally got a four star rating down here. That's nice. That's nice. So let's move on then. Let's move on with our lives. With our lovely, lovely lives. So, Mad Eye, you again. Okay, Wind and Magic. I guess that's pretty much the same thing that I've just done, so let's keep doing it, I guess. Let's keep doing it. As the people say, never change a winning team and never change a running system. So, Shadow Storm again. The Mad Eye is probably gonna die first because he's the one getting hit with two efficient moves there. Unless, of course, the extra armor break on one of the little... What would you call these things? I guess they are they are Seahorse, kinda. But I doubt that their monster name is Seahorse or Evil Seahorse or something like that. Oh. The Falcon does take a lot less damage from all the attacks. I do wonder why. Hmm. Okay. Full utility time. Full utility time for the Falcon because you are the main damage dealer right now. And another Shadow Storm. Bring out the Shadow Storm. Hey, and we shredded at least one of your buffs. Again, stuff like magic vulnerable enemies and stuff like that, those AoEs are way better in my opinion because it's way more likely to at least hit for neutral. But I'm pretty sure the second you hit at least one non-vulnerable like, enemy, it's already over and the move is already worse than a single target hit. Okay, we've gotten rid of all the debuffs. Shadow Storm, even though my Shadow Storms are getting a little weaker right now. Do not appreciate that. Okay, you're probably all going to die on the same turn again. That works for me, that works for me. I can work with that. And looks like we have actually took some damage on our beloved hawk. Well, we took some damage on our hawk. <laughs> uh, life wave. Shadow storm. And yeah, okay, this is over. This is over already. Lovely, lovely. What a love. Are you kidding me? Okay, looks like we'll need an additional turn to take them out. God dang it! Oh, I did not notice that I would not be able to afford that this time around. Awkward, to say the least. You know what? Fuck you, horsey. You could have been allowed us to be cool, but no. You had to, start, had to go and horse around. So we're almost at level 13. That's good, that's good. Will we be strong enough at level 13 for the boss fight? Huh, I would actually like to be level... F okay, the, the, because I'm pretty sure this is the boss fight room. Level 14 will be... 13 will be enough. But I do want to be on level 13 at least. So let's move back for a moment. Let's move out for now. Because we are playing this on Challenger and the boss fights, especially the Tamer duels, tend to be on the harder end in my opinion. Some of the champion monsters are, can also be quite hard, but usually those are the optional ones. Like 
One of the uh, some of the optional optional champions are actual nightmares to deal with, but the non-optional ones are all kind of pretty all right to deal with. I don't think there was a single one I did not first try. Oh wait, wrong direction. That's the wrong direction, and I do am not talking about music right now. Where are we going to? Uh, the next teleport stone is over there. So, yeah. I do want to teleport back to the... F oh, okay. I do want to teleport back to the fortress to upgrade my stuff as well. I think we are gonna stick with the weird tactic. Yes, it does not really work on the Grammy, but it does work generally speaking. So, that's all I care about for now. And the Shadowstorm. Does your Atharach also have only one move? Because mine does, apparently. <laughs> ah. Oh, we've been live for roughly an hour already. Alright. Doesn't feel like we did get much done today, but I think that's mostly because we are just in the dungeons the entire time. And honestly speaking, Considering everything, I guess we should not expect to rip through the dungeons and within just one hour. I mean, we're almost done with them. Okay, pretty decent damage there. The Grammy might actually die before one of the Gruels. Unle okay, it's definitely going to die before the Gruels now. <laughs> hey, which of my buffs did you just remove? Uh, sidekick channel barrier. Okay, I have no idea which of the buffs you just purged, but does not seem to be one of the more if, uh, more important ones. So I'm fine with that. Shadow Storm. Okay, that's a Grammy down, and can we finish the rest of you as well? Ah, come on. Okay, maybe I should have just killed one. Maybe I should not have been greedy, but can you blame me in this kind of situation? Can you really blame me? Okay, restore you, get rid of your debuffs. And then Chilling Wind! Get one kill. And some other wind attack to finish it off. There we go. Well done team, well done team. Aye, and Stardust! So we do have everything we need for the evolution now. I don't know if we uh, the Catalyst carried over. Okay, so the Catalyst actually did carry over, I think. Good to know, good to know, because I don't think I had any more Catalyst lying around than these ones. One that I definitely need to farm again is the one for the King Slime, because you actually... Even though the King Slime is just one monster, the King Slime does slightly change depending on which slime you are evolving him from. So, up to the fortress again, and hello, Smithy. Oh, I did not want to attack you, sorry for that. I've never upgraded the site. Oh, alright, that's a little awkward. Never upgraded the Grey Pearl, I definitely should upgrade. I can only upgrade one of them though. You know what, let's give Brutus more of a fighting chance here. The Infinity Flame should probably be valuable as well. Uh, magic and Mana Regeneration, yes, because you are just not that goddamn important and you are stuffed because I do want to use you more in general. Healing skills increased. I mean, it's only one extra percent, so it's not gonna do too much. Let's upgrade the Infinity Flame for now, and the Tome. Yeah, because mana is something we occasionally struggle with. And the wizard had to improve here. And then we're just gonna waste our resources wherever possible. I'm looking forward to getting the resource trader here. But all in due time, all in due time. Hmm. 
You know what, you know what, I am going to explore a little of the goblin area first. Just because I do want to get some XP anyway and by doing that so in the goblin area we can actually knock some exploration out of the way as well. That sounds like a plan, doesn't it? If it doesn't sound like a plan then I, I don't know what to tell you, I think the problem is you, not me. You know what, let's murder all of you, not I think about it, why am I running past you, I do want XP. So, for Trak, King Blob, and... And... You know what, Azarak, why the hell not. King Blob, you do have the better bubble burst right now, don't you? Don't you? Yes, you do. So let's use you as an attacker for now and see how much damage you can actually do. Probably should start with Shadowstorm as well. If you are getting armor broken now, then I'm gonna cry. Okay, you did not. Nice. I mean, not nice, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. Don't uh, don't uh, if you don't, then I'm um, sorry about that. Ah, weakness. I do not appreciate the weakness. I might actually have to get rid of that one. Because 20% less damage on Vertrag is kind of sucky when he's the one that can literally hurt everything. So please, no weakness. And of course, weakness is the one thing that sticks. Ah, that's just my god's bloody luck, isn't it? Three buffs, three debuffs, two of which get removed. Guess which one's still gonna stick around. Oh well, okay, it doesn't, did not matter for this turn, but still. That's the matter, if RNG frustrates you. I don't think the RNG in this game is that bad, because there has been a lot of, uh, of discussion that I noticed recently about RNG, mostly because a lot of eyes in the Temtem community have been on Coromon recently, just because that's the new creature collector that's been out. And Coromon is a creature collector that is heavily reliant on RNG. Like I would say, Coromon is probably worse than Pokemon when it comes to RNG. If you like RNG, that's great, then that works for you. But if you don't like RNG, Coromon can be a hella frustrating experience. I did notice a lot of the discourse because... Oh wait, I did not level all of you up. Also, I could probably go back, but since we are on the exploration path right now, since we are here, we might as well push forward towards the area with the next thing. The next teleportation crystal. Uh, you know what? I do like this one. This sounds like an awesome one. Then Brutus. More raw attack power? Yes, yes, definitely yes. Under all circumstances, yes. Look at Brutus' stat line. This is just raw attack and health. It's not even that much health, uh, but it's mo raw attack all around. Oh man, I love it. So, Thunderstorm, we do have that, we do have that. Hmm. I honestly think... Oh, and Revive as well. Having Revive on this monster is quite nice. I think the mana upkeep will help for overall right now. So, and you, my friend. Healing actions trigger an additional heal on the monster with the lowest health. That's good. Or just a stronger heal in general. Hmm. Multi regeneration doesn't do anything for me right now, at least. Oh, wait, but you can apply sorcery. Honestly, that's good, that's good. Shield plus sorcery, I will take it. So, and you, you. What's there for you? I think you just want more magic for now. I don't really see anything. You can buff yourself, it is a strong hit. Would be stronger than your current strong it did. But I think for now you just want more magic. Scorchy here, Scorchy has several things that it wants. Scorchy has a crit chance that he wants to increase. Crit chance right now is 39, now it's 44. Lovely. And you know what, I've moved past you already, so I'm not gonna go back for you. I can't get up there yet, I do need something or... 
need to find another way in or something like that. What do we have here? Bronze? Oh, bronze. That's valuable. Am I going... Yeah, no, no, no. If I can easily evade you like this, then I am going to do so. Because I do want to fight the boss fight. But there are new monsters here. New monsters, new stuff to fight. The King Blob is useful here. The Vatrag is useful here. And last but not least, the Azarak. So, let's see, you can shield apply sorcery, yes, let's apply some sorcery to the Azarek for now. Ooh, double sorcery buff, ooh, lovely. So, I spy with my little eye someone who is quite vulnerable to water moves right now. Do I still have tea left? Okay, I do have a little tea left. Ah, so let's drink a cup of tea, shall we? Should have probably done this while the enemy turn was still raging. But live and learn, live and learn. Okay, so let's get some sorcery going on you as well. How many? Okay, it's only one stack of sorcery. Oh, I think I know what happened. I think he might have literally just gotten a double stack there. Okay, you're not quite capable of killing yet. So I think... Uh, let's get the Druidic Oak down. Because that one can be annoying. I think that one can heal. So that should hopefully do the trick and kill the little worm. The worm is alive. Okay, lovely, lovely. Love to see it. I love to see it. Okay. Okay. Life wave. I think it's a, we are at the point of the game where a life wave is justified. Can you now shadow storm the worm, please? I'm not asking for much here. I'm just asking for a dead critter. So two down, only one left to go. Lovely. Boss monster team is actually putting in some work now. Ow, 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 ow. Stop it with the burns, please. Stop it with the burns, please. No dance. Ice hail can't quite kill, but we are gonna kill for sure, so I don't really care. And down goes the, uh, goes the moth. This moth is actually getting reworked as well when, when it comes to the visual stuff. It's not getting reworked as a monster, but it gets a visual upgrade. And it looks quite nice. I guess from all the visual upgrades, the, the moth is the one that I least care about. It's the least special, in my opinion, out of all of them. But it's still a rework, and it's still looking a little better than the other ones. I think the fact that the moth rework is the least interesting to me just speaks for the fact how good all the other reworks are. And Scotty! Time for some action for you. Okay, let's finish it on an explosion, shall we? Let's ignite a piece of wood at first. Once the piece of wood is ignited, let's dry it in the sunlight. And at the end of the day, you have some nice wool firewood. Boop! Okay, regeneration. Oh, two stacks on regeneration on the other ones. I do not appreciate. I really do not appreciate. Okay, you barely did anything this turn around, so that works for me. Uh, I do kind of want to save Ignite for another target. Mostly because I want to get the Pern Ticks going. Is Solar Ray gonna kill now? I think Solar Ray together with the Burn Ticks is probably gonna kill here. So let's start chopping away at the next one. And... Oh, come on, okay. So the regeneration triggers first, good to know. Guess we now have confirmation. Now we have confirmation. How lovely, isn't it? So none of you really have good AoE. I guess I could thunderstorm, but that might actually not kill the trees. Can I stack my ignite? No, that one does not have the ability to stack ignites. All right. I definitely need to kill now though, because triple regeneration I'm actually afraid of. 
Triple regeneration. Oh, quadruple regeneration already. They are starting to outheal me here. Those bloody oaks are starting to outheal me, so that's worrisome. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. As long as we can break through this turn, we are fine. Oh, wait, I just noticed they killed one of my units. We are, might no longer be fine. Ah, please crit. Holy shit, this was lucky. If that wouldn't have been a crit, that thing would have healed for quite a lot. And might have actually been able to finish off Vertrag. And you all have realized it already, but I will just say it. I need Vertrag right now. Like, I need him big time. So, I say, okay. Maybe I should have killed the moth first. The moth seems to be a lot more vulnerable than the trees. Jesus, the amount of healing. We might end up losing this one. I might have to use some items for this. If this even is enough. Let's bring in Vertrag again. <laughs> First time ever I actually have to use a regeneration item like that. Huh. Speaking of regeneration, I should have probably just used that one right away. I kind of tried to rush them down. It did not work out for me. It did not work out for me. Ay, 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 this moth, the amount of regeneration. I don't have anything to purge it with, that's the problem. I think I'm going to use another phoenix here. To think that it would be a random encounter that causes me this much. Surprising, to say the least. Okay, I can at least start removing the burns. Probably should have removed them on Vertrag first. And you know what, let's get the regeneration out. I'm actually going to waste a turn here, just so I can start regeneration. And the moth is back up to full. The moth is back up to full. I repeat, four stacks of healing. I respect it. I should definitely take a look at the oak in the near future, because... Hallelujah! So... Uh, you are regenerating already. Uh, you, you are just gonna help Vertrag out. But Vertrag is the most important one right now. If anything is gonna turn this around, it's gonna be Vertrag. So let's hope you can... Okay, Vertrag is, did not get the sorcery stack. That's a shame, but what can you do? So are you healing more damage than Vertrag can do? No. Okay, that's good. As long as Vertrag does more to you than you do to him, that's good. Ah, uh, restore again. I think I need to restore uh, the Squatch himself. I don't know if I want to... Uh. Okay, you know what? Fe Featherstorm just to get the counter up and then Ice Hail. We are getting there. We are slowly turning this one around. It only took us two regeneration items. Well, two... Not regeneration. Resurrection, that's the R word I was looking for. Only two resurrection items. That's nothing, right, for a random encounter. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these guys are kicking hard. Which levels are they at? That's what I want to know. Only level 13, so they are literally on my level. So they literally just outclassed me good there. Oh, please, yes, finish this thing off. I don't want to be here anymore. I will take my zero star rating. Now. Hey, we actually... Two stars is more than I deserve for this performance, in all honesty. This was not a two-star performance, if you ask me. So, what's here? God, I'm worried about these guys. I am kind of worried about them after what just happened. Secret? Aha! Secret! Teleporters? Anywhere? Teleporter? Teleporter? Uh, I just saw a chest over there, so let's get that one first. Red gem, okay. I definitely need to make another stop at the castle at some point. Hey, you know what? There's, there are no oaks here, so this is fine. No oaks means I am fine with the situation. All of you are vulnerable to water, okay. I don't have that many water creatures. 
But I do have a Brutus, so that's something. Let's start with Barrier, because I should take th uh, things more serious in this area. And Regeneration. We're just setting up this turn. And you know what, since we are just setting up, we can might as well power focus. Okay, so now that we have set up. Now that we have set up, let's see. How much regeneration... How much does the regeneration of my slime do here? I'm looking forward to seeing it. Okay, that's okay, that's alright. Doing alright there. So, bubble burst time. We do need to take out the magma pillar first. Unless, of course, let's think about this. Do I want to continue setting up? I think I should continue setting up with the slime, let's be honest. His damage is not the thing that is going to carry us to victory here. And heavy... Ooh, god damn. How much does Flurry of Blows do? Okay, not nearly enough, but the heavy punch is lovely. Ooh, mmm, Brutus, my boy! My big, beautiful, muscular boy! I like the charges on Brutus. I mean, it's not just the charges, but they definitely help. They definitely do help there. So, I think Slime Volley for now. I kind of want to... Okay, that did not do as much as I wanted it to. Okay, you know what? You finish off the little caterpillar and you allow Brutus to do his thing, whatever the thing is. Oh, Burn is gonna hurt Brutus a lot though, because Burn does scale with his attack power. I didn't really pay attention to how much damage he took from Burn, but I do worry about Burn. Hey, why are you hitting my poor slime? And why am I up to five stacks of Burn right now? I didn't even know you could get up to 5 stacks. Okay, you know what? The slime actually has to heal first here. The slime actually has to heal here. Uh, how much? Hmm. Yeah, let's not be greedy. Let's take out one moth at a time. It feels like I'm wasting damage again, but let's take out one moth at a time. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, I do need move. This area is a nightmare right now. I'm gonna be completely honest here with you. I'm gonna be real hard and honest with you. I just wanted to get some quick XP. I did not expect to actually find a challenge. But I'm looking forward to the challenge. I'm thriving on it. And heavy punch. I guess it doesn't help that I can't abuse their elemental weaknesses that well. I mean, I could just do this with King Slime and it would probably work, but... Oh well. So, you are dead. Dead, dead. Think you are hot. Guess what? You're not. Okay. I guess level 14 does not look as unrealistic anymore all of a sudden. And... Ah, yes. That's what I thought. That's what I thought we would end up. Hey, it's an ancient wood key. Can we get up there? No, we can't. So, we did need two ancient wood keys, so I don't know where the second one is. Yet. An individual monster's name is... Ah, that's the renaming lady, I do remember. Do we want to rename something? Yes, you know what? Let's rename Brutus to Bruno. Just because I don't want to talk about Bruno, no, no. So, Brutus is Bruno now. Uh, anyone else that needs a new name? Murica already has a good name. Yeah, if you don't think we can think of anything funny on the spot here, because I'm not that funny as you all know. There's a new Goblin King in the Ancient Woods. I've seen him with my own eyes. He's bent around me and they harassed me with their strange goblin language. I was so scared, I ran and stopped only when I reached this place. Someone I got to teach these goblins a lesson. You're a spectral keeper, aren't you? You should take care of them. Oh, you're selling stuff. Oh, you're selling level up badges. Are you selling just one? No, it looks like you can buy an infinite amount of level up badges with this vendor. I never knew. Maybe I should actually talk to monster to NPCs for once. Some monsters that you find a sanctuary can change into a completely different form. Would you like to know more? Uh, no thanks, I know more. 
why are you still explaining shit to me when I already told you that I have the knowledge? But thank you for the magic clay. This is the Tree of Illusion, the, uh, the most important mon monument of the Monster Sanctuary. Would you like to know more about the history of this place? No? Okay. At least someone listens to me when I'm saying no here. Thank you. Okay, let's get back to the sanctuary and upgrade more shit because we do have some upgrade materials on us again. The Grey Pearl. Anything else? Could upgrade the tome on Scorchy here. And that's it. Alright, lovely, lovely. So let's move on with our lives then. Uh, why exactly couldn't I go to the left side from here? Remind me game, why the fuck did I not finish? Oh, I think probably because of darkness or something like that. Oh no, because of that. Okay, I remember now. Okay, and you know what? Let's murder everything on our way because that's what I'm good at. Atharak and Murica, you are the combination for this. You are the right group of friends for this. So, and we do need some sorcery here. Let's get some sorcery up in that bitch. Hey, double sorcery. Double the sorcery, double the fun. But yeah, this feels a lot more level appropriate. I do kind of want to see which level are you. You are level 11, so you are technically two levels beneath me. So that will explain why they... So if the things are on the level with me, then they are kind of tough to deal with. Good to know, good to know. And what's this? Another spore? Can we kill them next turn? Maybe. Maybe if I'm lucky with my sorceries here. Can you get another double sorcery out of this? No, just a single one. But we do still have our Shadow Storm and maybe armor breaks. Okay, no armor breaks. Okay, looks like we are not lucky after all. But hey, one of them is dead, so that's something. Hey, and a double miss. A triple miss even. Nice. Okay, you just need to restore and the rest of you is gonna finish the job. Ah, uh, Shadow Storm, yeah, Shadow Storm will do the job here. GG, GG. Okay, I guess there was not much G in this G. Hey, oh, an orb plus two, that's nice. But yeah, things are not giving me much XP around here anymore. Oh, ah, shit. Okay, looks like I'll have to go through the actual puddle again for a second. Uh, where's Marika? Get me out of here, Marika. So, let's move on with our lives. Oh, I've already looted that. I've already looted that and here's the next group of enemies. Let's go with the same lineup here. Let's go with this lineup because this lineup just works. It just works, it just works, little ice dining show, people die, money flow, it just works. So, Shadowstorm! I should have probably given the- oh! Double break, okay, that's a lot better now. That is a lot better now, 20% extra damage on two of those is nice. Oh my god, you shredded most of my buffs, but you did not shred my sorcery buff. My channel buff or whatever it's called. Is it called sorcery? Yeah, it is called sorcery, gotcha. So, other than that, what else do we need here? So let's set up a barrier. Let's establish a perimeter, one might say. I know a barrier is not exactly a perimeter, but level with me here, friend. I think I've passed the shiny enough to actually play this game, by the way. <laughs> he, did, uh, he did say on stream that he wants to, try to give it another go on stream in the near future, and I'm so looking forward to that. I really want to see him uh, see more people give this game a second chance, and I can't really fault anyone for maybe not 
Uh, are you guys vulnerable to... Okay, you know what? Let's just go all out this turn. I can't uh, get fault anyone for dropping this game too early. Because let's be completely honest here. That's what I did. I gave up on this game after a while. Because I thought, okay, maybe this just not isn't for me. Because it takes a while to wrap your heads around all the mechanics. It is one of the creature collectors that really tries something different from Pokemon. And most creature collectors have at least some similarities with either Pokemon or at least old school RPGs. I guess in a way this has a lot of similarities with old school RPGs as well, but other similarities than we are used to. So wind and magic. You know what, you know what, I do have another idea. I do think we are gonna... Oh, do I, you know what, no, we are still gonna shadow storm the very start. But it's still nice to just set up the armor breaks if we have the chance. Thunder! And we are getting through all of the enemies at roughly the same time. Okay, that's a lot of buffs, but I don't care about buffs as long as Azurak is on my team. I guess that's another reason why this boss fight usually tends to be on the harder side. Because at this point of the game, you are usually not on the level with him. Because he is level, has the level 16 monsters in a normal playthrough. He might be even level higher right now. I don't know. I don't know if they changed the level or something like that for challenger difficulty. Wait, no. Master difficulty, not challenger. I don't know why, but I always mix the, the, the difficulty names up. I guess because games in general are not really in a unanimous agreement about how to call their harder difficulty. It could just as well have been hard difficulty. Or, I don't know, I don't know, horrible difficulty. I guess horror would, horrible would be more of a difficulty in setting for an in Resident Evil game or something like that. But you know what I'm saying, right? Okay, one of you is dead. Lovely, lovely. Can the thunderstorm finish another one? Yes. And okay, you barely live, mad I. I'm kind of surprised that you are the one that lives the longest, considering the other ones are the ones that take double damage. But I guess sometimes that's just how it be. Well, it's not double damage. I think effective damage is a 50% damage increase. Uh, an orb. Ooh. Honestly, let's give you the orb for now. The summon sword is still doing good work here. I do like me an orb. I do like me a good orb. So, we are not level 14, but let's just do it. Let's just see. Val Val Valala, what a name. Oh, so many useless books. Where's that book of history? That strange person wears the same kind of clothes as the alchemist we saw in the blue caves. I sense that this person didn't come here with good intentions. We might have to fight his team of monsters to apprehend him. In that case, the same rules apply as for regular keeper duels. Except there's more on the line than usual. Oh, what a surprise. A keeper of monsters. Hey, that wouldn't happen to be a spectral familiar, would it? What if I am a spectral fam- So what if I am a spectral familiar? How marvelous. Not only a keeper of monsters, but a keeper of a spectral familiar as well. Oh my. This one seems really strange. I have a bad feeling. Ah, uh, hey, Will. Wow, I didn't expect the library to be this big. And the books are in pretty good quality too. Will, read the room. For fuck's sake, read the room. <laughs> but wait, that's another one of the alchemists. Oh, thank you. Thank you for finally noticing. Oh, what a blessed day. We came in search of old books and instead we found two keepers of spectral familiars. We? What is that supposed to mean? Well, we generally implies there being several persons. 
chimes. Hey, Valala, what's happening in here? We are we having a party? Not at such times, even though there might be cause for the celebration very soon. Yeah, I see. Two spectral keepers, huh? The master will be quite pleased with us. <laughs> Those two are both really creepy. We should be careful. Uh, what do you do, people want? We're not afraid of you. Oh, uh, Will, please stop lying. I know you're lying. They know you're lying. And you know you're lying. That's good. It gives us a surprise advantage. You take care of the other one, Valala. I want this one. Looks like it's time to fight. We shouldn't lose this one. Oh, yes, we should not. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm actually over level for this fight. Why did I think he was level 16? Which fight do I remember now that was level 16? Ah, well, let's start out with Bruno. Let's start out with, I guess, King Blob and the Azarak. Let this be our leading team. So, I think a barrier at the start. Yeah, let's start with barrier. Does not hurt to take less damage, does it now? More like the opposite. And the Shadow Storm. Oh, I always forget. I always bloody forget that I only have two moves in a bloody keeper battle at first. Ugh. Ah, so. So we started setting up now. So I guess either full utility or arcane shield. I think full utility for Brutus is the way to go right now. Azarak, you can keep just Shadowstorm. You do you, Azarak. You know what to do. I don't have to tell you anything. You know exactly what is expected of you, and I appreciate that of you. And I think a heavy punch is gonna take out the bat here. Nice! Brutus, you are an amazing creature. Did anyone ever tell you that? If not, then let no one ever tell you to your friend. Okay, thunderstorm. Uh, some damage here and there. Not too shabby. Not too bad. Still alright. Uh, you do have some debuffs on your king slime. So I think I'm just gonna restore you for now and get rid of the toxic and the rest. Now the shadow storm! Can we get... Uh, no, we can't so Okay, then let's get rid of whatever Brutus can one shot. I think that's generally the best way to go about it. Ooh, Katerkas. Katerkas can be quite dangerous. I'm always taken off guard by the amount of damage a Katerka can do. Because you don't expect the Katerka to be all that powerful, considering how he looks and the fact that he's a very early monster. But the Katerka is actually one of the early monsters that's still performing well in, in late game and even on a competitive level so yeah that's the Katerka for you oh got a nice break there so I think if I have the option I do want to take out the Katerka but yeah this is, a, this is a lot easier than the fight against the Oaklings and the Flaming Moths <laughs> I don't know if it really should be but for some reason it is easier right now Ow, 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 ow. That's, that's a significant, not insignificant amount of damage you did there. Mr. Slime, please. You know what I expect you to do. Another Shadow Storm comes out. And Heavy Punch to take out the Monk then. Okay, so we are down to your last two creatures. So I definitely did not need that extra level. Like I said, uh, it's a good thing we did not grind up to level 14. Otherwise, I would have felt a little silly if this was everything we had to deal with. Still, I don't know why I thought he was level 16. Which fight am I remembering right now that was level 16? Oh well, another life wave. Shadow Storm would not kill. In fact, nothing would kill right now. I mean, maybe if I'm lucky, but I guess it's better to just keep shadow storming for the chance to apply break. No, no break. Okay, let's take out the knight and that leaves just the mad eye. Is the mad eye gonna turn it around for the enemy? Is this the big comeback? The comeback of the century? An upset in modern sport? Will this be it? 
Well, let, let me answer your question. Let me answer your question that you're definitely asking right now. The answer to this very question is no. There we go. GG, GG. Did not expect to not lose any monsters, but well done us, I guess. Hey, a reward box. Put a project check. I don't know if I have more reward boxes left. Hmm. Looks like I was getting carried ahead of myself. I won't be so careless next time. Oh, but looks like Chimes was more successful than me. Perhaps there can be a celebration after all. Enjoy your books, nerds! We have something more valuable than this whole library. And we are not stopping him. We are just letting him walk past us. That was odd. We should check on Will. Oh, by the way. Yes, yes, we are gonna check on Will. But I do want to know, as I do have multiple reward boxes. Ooh, a feather. Uh, and I do have kind of a few eggs. Hits all enemies here, so that's the way to go. That's the way to go here, because Cascade could be useful. I mean, Sh Shadow Storm is our main ability, so I guess Cascade is not actually all that important here. For one. But having an AOE wind move, why the hell not? Why the hell not? Okay, okay, I should just go through them with switching now to think about it. Throwing a blurry, flurry of bl a flurry of blows, what the hell? Maybe. Might buff for the whole party. I uh, I'll be quite honest with you. Oh, interesting. But the support tree is the thing that interests, interests me the least about Brutus right now. Oh! Okay, that makes it a whole lot more interesting. Okay, consuming a charged stack heals you. You are building up charges quite decently, so interesting. Yeah, let's go for this. Oh, I did it again. I did it again. God dang it. What do we have here? More sorcery. I think that might be nice. And I did it. Okay, you know what? Let's let's just live with this for now. Let's just live with our shame for now. Charge destruction. I mean, it's useful in combination with Brutus. The main question I have right now is, would you be able to build up charges? Okay, yes, you are able to build up charges. Okay, there we go, there we go. This is, this is our in. This is what we need to do. This is what we need to do. Applies regeneration and sorcery. Yes, maybe. Oh, max mana would increase our stuff, huh. Healing action applies to random buffs. I don't know what else I want here. I guess we do have more than enough creatures to uh, that use magical attacks to warrant this. Initial armor break. Apply armor break. Oh, Jesus, I did not even notice this ability. That's huge. Both of these are ex insanely powerful. I can't believe it. What? I was just leveling my monsters. How could this happen? How could they do this? I've never heard about something like this happening. I think something really wrong happened. His monsters were just too powerful. I lost against him, no surprise there. But I don't understand what happened afterwards. He moved in an upward and down motion. He lowered his hips and then raised them again. He called it tea bagging, but not a single tea leaf was involved. I just do not understand it. It just makes no sense, no matter how many times I go over it in my head. My familiar is gone. It just had disappeared after I lost the battle. My own father gave me my familiar. I have brought shame 
on my entire family. Don't worry, Will. You did so before this incident as well. I mean, yes, this is just your crowning achievement, but you did bring shame to your entire family beforehand. So, nothing new there. We understand your sorrow, Will, but your family can't be gone forever. We are immortal after all. Nothing can really harm us. Toad will be fine. I can promise you that. All of us familiars have been alive for longer than we can even remember. You're right. Thank you. And don't forget that we came here for a reason. We can't let it be in vain because of this loss. Yes, in the library. That's at least something, isn't it? Maybe it's not so bad. Whatever happened, I have to find a way to reverse it. We'll find it together. If they attack one of us, they attack all of us. Right, Nintendo Seastro? I mean... I just want to fight, I don't really care about this whole camaraderie thing. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, I am making fun of it right now. But this game has one of the more interesting stories for a creature collector. Most creature collectors have very bland stories. And this one is still just middling, but compared to most other creature collectors, it's a great story. Thank you, that is good to know. But I know my strengths and research is what I'm best at. So I'll be sifting through these books if it's alright with you. It will give me time to think. Meet me back at the regular library in the Keeper Stronghold later. I hope that he'll be alright. Must be devastating for him. But it is really concerning that they are able to do this sort of thing. I'm less worried about us familiars and more worried about the sanctuary itself. Who knows what the alchemists are planning. We should meet up with Will at the library in the Keeper Stronghold later. Alright, back to the Keeper Stronghold then. Can't move to the left because we can't get small yet, so let's get over there. Let's go over there. Mm. So yeah, that's the big story of this game. The story about the alchemists and them trying to do something in the, in the sanctuary. I do know the story of course already because I did beat this game already. But for those of you that have not, I will not spoil anything that has not already happened. Some of you might actually be invested in the, in the things going around uh, themselves. Around you. Blah, blah, blah. English is a difficult language. At least if it must, is not your. Uh, at least if it's not your native language. In all honesty, I do consider English to be an easier language than German. You just have the, not der, die das. You pretty much have nothing to remember in terms of writing things in uppercase or lowercase. I don't... Oh, I actually managed to squeeze past them. Nice. The little squeeze there. A little juicy little squeeze, as Northern Lion likes to say. So, it took us roughly two hours to finish the this area. Good to know, good to know. So, we do have a rough estimate. For the amount of time it takes us to get through there. Hello! Hey, I've just been thinking about some things. It feels so strange not to have my spectral familiar anymore. Your familiar won't be gone for very long, Will. We are on to the alchemist. Don't forget what I told you. They attack one of us, they attack all of us. Thank you. It means a lot to me to know that you and Insane Tesoro will help me. And I still have my other monsters as well. Just because I don't have my Spectral Familiar anymore doesn't mean I stop being a monster keeper. I mean, even with your Spectral Familiar, you were not much of a monster keeper, so... I don't know about that one, Will. I just know that my Spectral Toad would want me to continue as a monster keeper. So I will continue traveling the Sanctuary and searching for more hints about the alchemist. Sounds good, Will. Wish you good luck for your travels. I did find some information in one of the books, though. So around 300 years ago, the ancient order of alchemists came to the sanctuary after they were banished everywhere else. They somehow managed to break through the sanctuary's magical barrier and entered the sanctuary. Eventually, they revealed themselves to the monster keepers. The leader of the alchemists, Marduk, made a grand speech trying to appeal to the monster keepers. He spoke of pushing back against those that had pushed them all into the sanctuary. With the combined power of the monster sanctuary and the alchemist, they would be able to conquer the old world. 
However, most of the monster keepers were unwilling to start a war against the old world. As the current keeper master put it, the sanctuary was all that they needed and there was no reason for bloodshed. They allowed the alchemists to stay regardless, which was a mistake. The alchemists were bitter and angry about the fact that they were constrained to live in a monster sanctuary. In times of old, they used to practice their craft for the kings of the old world, earning plenty of riches and fame for their order. The alchemists plotted a conspiracy and gathered monster keepers around them that aligned with their worldviews. In their view, monsters were nothing but a tool to be used to, rege to regain the power they once had in the old world. Actually prepared my sweater for when I'm getting a little chilly, a little frosty here. <laughs> so ah, uh, let us move on. Luckily, the alchemists got caught before they could spring their plan into action. The monster keepers believed that they put an end to the ancient order of alchemists. However, the leader of the alchemists, Marta, was never found. There were rumors that Marduk had found a way to gain immortality for himself. So perhaps he's st still around somewhere in the sanctuary. It says that he always wore a devil mask. That's all I could find. Perhaps if we find more alchemists we can get more information from them. So there we go. That's the information we have. That's all the information we need. Let's just confirm with our little friend here. Alchemist plot and goblin ride. Okay, so those are the two quests that are happening right now. So let's move over back to the ancient woods and let's fight our way through these again. Hello, you know what? Allow me to train up on you because you are harder than the alchemists actually are for god knows which reason. And yeah, Bruno. Hey, that's an early armor break. Lovely, just lovely. Uh, let's see if we can take you out in one strike. And by one strike I mean one turn. Let's see if we can take you out in one turn. Ah, uh, looking... Ah, alright, would have been too good. I guess we are not that overpowered. Brutus does too need a little something. Why am I calling him Brutus now that I finally changed his name to Bruno after not being able to remember his bloody name for ages? I mean, it's not like I miss, uh, not, not remember his name. It's more like uh, for some reason the name Brutus came to mind every single time that I used the bugger. Okay, I'm actually gonna heavy punch first this time around. Oh, damn. Strong hit, strong hit. Uh, you know what, let's finish the one that we can finish uh, for sure. Let's get one of you out of the way. So yeah. Do we want to increase the group crit chance for Brutus? I guess it would not hurt, but I'm always hesitant to you uh, to increase the crit chance for a creature like that that does not have the highest attack rate. Because a lot of the turns you're not gonna get anything out of it. You catch my drift? You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's start chipping away at your armor and the heavy punch is gonna take out the last of the moths. Brutus is getting somewhere. The stuff he does might be simple, but he's efficient at what he does. Okay, King Slime, you kind of need to get rid of that burn that's on you. Thanks for your hard work, but please watch out for yourself. And heavy punch! Ooh, <laughs> good boy, Brutus. Hey, among my pillars. Oh, I forgot to donate all of my eggs. I mean, I could just hold on to them, but at the same time, I don't have a good reason to hold on to them and to not just donate them. Anything that I encounter here that I can get here, I can easily get later on as well. So for trucks, Squatchy, and yeah, let's use this alignment of creatures for now. Just because I want to get rid of that bloody oak before it does all of the regeneration buffs again. Murder the oak! I don't care what it takes. The oak has to die. Okay. It's almost dead. Well, but not before it could set up regeneration for the bloody mobs. Alright, fair enough. Double regeneration. Ugh. 
You are annoying, you know that. I'm pretty sure you do know that you choose to ignore it. Okay, I think we might start out with Flurry of Blows this time round. Unless, of course, we are... Uh, Okay, you know what? Start with restoration. Let's get the plateau's burn ticks down. And then a flurry of blows. Should still be enough to take out our oaken friend here. And yeah, it doesn't matter, they can't get any more stacks, so let's take out the one that regenerates less each turn first. Stop burning Brutus! Stop burning the thing with an attack that high. Oh, that... Okay, they actually managed to kill Brutus off. I was worried about that. Well, 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 well. This area still proves to be quite challenging. Uh, why? Can I one-shot you with this move? No, I cannot. Shame. Shame, 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 but let's take you out nonetheless. So, please don't put me in another situation where I can't get away. Oh, God. Okay, is it going to... Ah, fucking hell, this will be another one we won, won't it? This will be another one we won. I do not like that. My only chance right now... My only chance right now is the fact that I at least have the ageless stacks. So, the longer this goes on, the stronger I become. But the, those two levels of regeneration and those burn ticks, they do hurt. They do hurt a lot. We are getting somewhere. We are at least getting somewhere. I think hopefully I can finish him next turn. Maybe it will take two more turns. God, I'm so lucky that Patrag is not vulnerable to damage over time effects. Otherwise, this would have been over. Okay, another close one. Okay, one star rating. Honestly, fair. I deserve that. I do deserve that one star, even though I do not like it. Where are we now? Oh god, more of you. I mean, it's just oaks. So you don't have anyone who's able to start a burn ticks for you. So maybe that's actually gonna be good. There's a ch there's hope. We can hope that it's gonna be good. I should have brought Fatrag with me. Can I switch the monster? I could switch the monster. But nah. We've chosen our monsters for this fight. We are sticking with them. But yeah, I think the Azarak might actually be the solution against these guys, just so he keeps their buffs down. I do need to remember that for the future. Ah, da, 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 da. Okay, that's already a lot of... Oh my god. Okay, no, I do need to switch, I think. We are still gonna try for this turn. Because for now I don't see a reason why we should not give it a good old fashioned color try with what we've got out. But there is a decent chance we can damage them faster than they are healing here. Is this a kill? Please be a kill. No it's not. I was not lucky on the dice roll there. Okay. The regeneration is alright so far. It's annoying but it's alright. Okay, so all of them are up to four stacks of regeneration. I doubt that it can get higher than four stacks. Four stacks seems to be the maximum amount right now. So that's at least something. Um, yeah, let's finish one of you off for now. The weakest one, but one nonetheless. Sadly, I can't apply another stack of weakness. So much healing, I think they just healed every bit, little bit of damage that I did with the explosion. So, restore and get rid of the armor break, because we do not like the armor being broken. And... Mm, honestly, I should have done this a lot sooner. Wait, the cone can go up to 5 stacks of regen, alright. Okay, they, they are not able to out-heal for Trax moves now. That's at least something. And there's the armor break again. God dang it. I don't know. I think don't think that healing the armor break is actually gonna do much for me here. So let's just life wave. 
Let's just life wave and keep their damage in check. Mm, okay, you are the one that's already wounded. No reason to hi even try hitting the other guy. Ah yeah, we do need the Vertrag here. Okay, you know what, in this scenario I am actually gonna restore because the rest of the party is in a kind of a healthy shape already. So, I doubt that you are able to take down one of those Oaklings this turn. Nah, we're getting there. But are we getting there? It's hard to tell because so much of their health is getting regenerated each turn. Alright, alright, alright. Life wave, please. I hate fighting against things like that, because it just draws it out so much. But I think... Oh, please die. Okay, one of them is dead. That's lovely. Okay, so we are down to the last one. We are actually able to uh, take them out now. The last one. The strongest one. But sometimes strength is not enough. And now that it's just one of them, they are not really able to keep up with renewing all the armor down, I guess. Or at least they cannot capitalize on it every turn. <laughs> I didn't even know that you're able to get up to 5 stacks of regeneration. I didn't even know that it was possible. But here we are. Here we are. Vertrag is at 8 stacks of Ageless already. Well, of Age now, so that means 24% extra damage. That's pretty decent, I would say. That's that's workable, I would say. I think that's one of the main reasons why I'm not horribly losing this one right now. I mean, it might still get me a very bad rating, simply based on the amount of time I'm taking here. But guess we are gonna see that in a moment, because I don't see you making it past this turn! There we go. So, what's my rating? Three stars! Honestly, that's alright. Three stars is alright. Ah, yes. So, we do need one more ancient wood key. Where could the ancient wood key be, then? We found one already, he was near the tree. Where's the other one? You know what? Let's fight you. I've not fought you here today. The mole bear. And there's an oak. Okay. You know what? Now we've learned. Now we've learned. Now we know this is Azarak territory. Considering how diverse their monster pool is. What do I even want? I guess Vertrag, King Blob and the Azarak. Oh, it's a Tanuki. Alright. Alright. It's a Tanuki then. Uh, so, how are we doing this? I think we're starting by setting up a barrier. And then Shadowstorm. Nothing to... Ooh, lovely. Oh, and it was the Oakling that was... Okay, if the Oakling was the faker, then this is definitely gonna be a lot easier. The moth can be annoying with all of its fire stuff as well, but the Oakling was the one that gave me real troubles. Cause now... Uh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, we do need to heal there a little. Uh, do you have a sorcery buff already? No, you don't. Okay, you know what? Let's do it like this then. Since you don't have a sorcery buff, Right now, I just want to improve your output. Hey, and we've gotten rid of something. Hmm, let's see if we are lucky. Do we feel lucky, Punk? No, we are very unlucky indeed. The unluckiest person around. Hey, that's a couple of misses. Don't like the burn. Don't like everything that's following. Okay, you've given yourself a barrier and you've hit me. We do have a reason now to restore. So good thing we waited with the restoration. And gave us the sorcery instead. So Shadowstorm is gonna take out someone here though. Lovely, lovely. Can we kill something else? You're only vulnerable to wind. So I don't think I have... Oh wait, no. What am I talking about? The Azarak uses wind moves. Okay, that works then. 
that works then. So I think we can probably just finish tattoo a few here. And uh, slime boy, no you cannot. Mm. Okay, I think I'm starting with Ice Hail, just so because it's an easy kill here. Azarak, you're the one that is going to move last this time around. And this one does more damage to a single target. And Chilling Wind should finish the job, right? There we go. Alright, that's a pretty decent performance. Pretty decent performance in my book. No eggs, huh. No eggs and only three star. What a world. What a world! What a world! So I don't think I've ever gone down so far. So... Hmm, wait. This feels suspicious. Okay, nothing here and okay. Okay, maybe then my spider sense is tingling for some... Oh god, that's it, yeah. That's it, that's the puzzle I was talking about. That's the puzzle I got stuck on in my break. And you might be saying, ah, but that means you've solved it by now. Yes, I did. Ah, so that means you won't have any more trouble with this puzzle now. Well, no, it does not really mean that. It only means that I managed to bash my head for long enough against it. That I eventually got through it. The very start here, the very start here is pretty alright. But everything that comes after, that's where the problem starts. That's where the trouble started with that smile. That goddamn smile. So let's get our chest here. Just some wool. And then trigger you again. So. I can get through here, because the problem is, we need to get back through here, because we need to deactivate the purple thing. So, let's pull the green lever. Now that the green lever is pulled, we do need to pull the red lever. Okay, now that the red lever is pulled, we could go through here. Okay. Uh, okay, that, this is not the way. I can already tell you that this is not the way. But maybe, wait, I have an idea. Let's pull the red lever again. Hmm, no, that's not it. Let's try this again. Let's take it from the top. Pull the red lever. And chuck again. Hope you're all doing alright, because we will be here for a while. I don't get anything out of pulling this lever, though. So it had something to do with the levers up there. If I pull the green lever... Oh wait, reset the green lever, pull the red lever again please, and then pull the green lever, maybe that's it. Okay, now we are here. But I think the problem is we need to circle back. Or is it? Do we? Yeah, we do need to go past the red, uh, the red laser here. Hmm. And we can't right now. Ah, oh, this puzzle is complicated. If I pull the blue lever right now, I'll just block myself off. No. Not like this. Not like this. Oh god, I'm so sorry. This might be the rest of today's stream. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, we can close ourselves in. Lovely. That's just what I want to do. We're, after two years of COVID, I d the closing myself in is probably the last thing I want to do right now. Okay, so this is open now. But now we can't go back anymore. Okay, okay. 
Let's take it from the top again. Let's take it from the top again. I probably was pretty close to the solution at some point already and then fucked it up. So... Okay, so I can go back through here and I have access to this red lever again. Is the red lever gonna do anything for me? No, not as long as the green lever is still going. But to deactivate the green lever, I would have to be in a situation where I could go through there. That means uh, pulling the red lever, walk through here. And no, that just does not work. Just does not work that way. God damn it, I hate this puddle. This puddle makes me feel so stupid. Okay, you know what? Let's work it back. Okay, wait, I can't work it backwards from here. I can't work it backwards from here. But maybe, maybe that's one of the big problems with this puzzle for me. Usually, if I see every part of the puzzle, I can figure it out. But with this one, I only have access to a portion of the puzzle. Which makes this insanely difficult for me. Ah! Let me in! Let me in! Hmm. Okay, this just closes me in even further. The green one. Oh, wait, I think I might have managed to... Okay, no. For a second I was worried I might have managed to trap myself there. Okay. This shouldn't be so as complicated as it is. Really shouldn't. Oh, okay, wait. We can move through here now. Oh! Did we accidentally figure something out? If I pull this now... I'm stuck on this side again. Gotcha. Okay, I didn't figure something out. I did not figure something out. False alarm, false alarm. It feels pretty good. I mean, we are close now, though. We do need to pull the blue lever last. The blue lever is over there. And if we pull the blue lever... It means we have to get through this. To get through this, we need to have the red lever pull. Huh? Oh. Okay, so right now I would be enclosed. But if I pull the lever now... You know what? We might be onto something here. Let's not forget. I need to pull this blue lever and I need to get rid of the red barrier. So let's activate... The red lever once. And reset the green barriers. Wait, no. Oh? Is this is this working out? Oh my god, we actually fucking figured it out. Hallelujah. Ah. Okay, now let's leave this horrible place before we fuck it up again. I don't know why there are laser uh, bloody laser barrier lever puzzles here and quite frankly i don't care but we've got our bloody ancient wood key and they, for just one last callback let's go back here and finally get out of this hellhole of a maze Ugh. i don't know if there were any puzzles that i struggled more with than this one but i'm thankful that i had the chance to at least practice is somewhat on stream. Can you imagine if this was my first attempt on this puzzle? If I had to spend all the time it took me to originally get through this during my break here live on camera. Would have never lived that one down. So is there something... Ah! Ooh. Boop. Thank you very much. So we found a little extra treasure room. I mean, I could move on, or I could move back. I do have the keys now to move back. Oh, did I miss? Okay, no, I did not miss. I mean, I did kind of miss the one I was aiming for, but I did not miss the one 
I actually needed to hit. I mean, in a way I did, but I need, needed to hit both of them anyway. That's what I want to say here. I don't think I can... Mm, maybe I can. Maybe if I use the falcon. There would probably be easier ways to get this later on. But I do see a chance for us to get this wire the falcon! Ah, almost. Maybe. If we jump from a little higher, maybe. Come on. Oh, almost jumped on the spikes there. Ah, ah. Okay, I think this time around we might have been too far away. I'm only gonna give it a couple more tries before I start. Ah, okay. I, I hit the ceiling there. This was a bad attempt was a bad attempt, but maybe if we just jump from the higher end, that could already be our ticket. Oh. Okay, now I think you're always gonna hit the ceiling if you're jumping from the higher platform. Shame, but it was to be expected, I guess. So we do need to start from over here. Okay, you know what? I don't think... Maybe if I'm a very specific pixel, you might be able to make that jump, but I'm not gonna look for that pixel right now. I am not gonna look for this pixel right now. Somewhere here. Yeah, I knew there would be something hidden here. Oh, I know what this is. I do know what this is. Oh, I missed it. Or is it the one I'm thinking of? Might be something else. Might actually be something else. Level badges. Okay, we can't go through here. I think this is actually the way to the Brutus boss fight. Because I do remember that one being hidden. So I do need something improved for jumping here though. Um, hello friends. I will just leave you. Oh, oh, I know. Rem oh, okay, I do know. I do know where I am. I don't think there's much of a reason for me to make it down here, other than these chests, of course. Because, as you might have glimpsed on the map, we are making our way back towards the dungeon. I just wanted to do this for completion's sake. Oh! Oh, come on. Okay, you want to slow me down, dungeon? Be my guest. But I will promise you, you are not gonna slow me down for long! Sayonara, suckers! Okay, so, next thing on the agenda is we are going to pay the Goblin King a visit now that we have the keys, the keys to the kingdom. The literal keys to the kingdom in this case, because it's the key that opens up the path to the domain of the Goblin King. Nothing here. Kind of hard to climb these things. Ooh, almost dropped down there. So, we wanted to get back up there. And I wanted to sit back down again, so give me a second. Ah, how late it is. 7 o'clock, okay. I've been streaming for two and a half hours, so I think we can keep on going for a little longer. Hmm. But I don't think we're gonna make it to the Goblin King today. I'm gonna be real hard and honest here with you. Oh, uh, that's the wrong button I pressed there, but it worked out. Hmm. The Goblin King was another boss fight, by the way, so he's actually considered one of the champions. And he's at only a decent unit. Hey, there they are, Goblin Boys. Small little Goblin Boys, vulnerable to melee. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful, isn't it? Although, I only just now noticed a lot of my units are casters. I don't have many melees with me. Interesting. Why is Flurry of Blow doing so little? Oh well. Um, so, how are we gonna do this? General regeneration and sidekick on Brutus? Yes, please. 
Then you, my dear falcon friend, feather gatling. Yes, yes, also yes. Lots and lots of damage and Brutus. Honestly, I think this is actually one of those blurry of blow scenarios. Just chunk all of them down. Oh yes, give me all the charges. Give Brutus all the charges. Oh yeah, see those charges? Brutus loves it. Brutus just loves it. Restore Brutus. Because it's mostly the burn that I fear here. And another Fairstorm. But on another Goblin this time around because I need to chunk them down roughly equally if this is my threat. There we go. Okay, the other two are gonna die next turn. Ain't getting past Brutus this time around. In case you're wondering what the charges do, by the way, don't remember if I explained those already. Increase damage of the next attack by 3%, so yeah. You can see why this is powerful, I think. And let's get rid of the poison. And a feather gatling against the weakened little goblin over there. And Brutus, would you be so kind and do the honors? Boop. There we go. Well done, Brutus, well done. A 4 star rating. No goblin egg though, but a level up, so that's something. So oh, Brutus, you get your level up first. You deserve it after this. Oh, Flurry of Blows was not yet upgraded. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, I think first impact is gonna be the next thing we get. A turn without attacking an enemy. Shield all monsters in the party by 50% of this monster's defense. Hmm. I mean, that's only gonna be useful if I start building up the buffs as well, otherwise Brutus... I mean, not necessarily now that I think about it, because power focus is something where Brutus does not attack as well. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. So, Azarak on the other hand, what do you do? What do you want? An upgraded chilled wind, probably not the worst idea, and haha, I remember to just switch over for now. You, my friend, on the other hand. Didn't you have something? Yeah, you're a bit building up charges. Okay, so you do want increased crit chance. We are at roughly 50% crit rating with this. That's nice. Fatrag! When it multiplies the buffs, it gains a charge stack. Does it get a charge stack per buff? Because that would make this a lot more valuable to me. I mean, it's kind of free, combined with defensive presence, it's kind of free real estate, I guess. And combo... You know what? You know what? I'm starting to see it. I see how this is coming together. Alright. Oh, and this time around it tapped out again. God dang it. So, do we want to have a better restore? Maybe. Combo healing. I think for now, better restore is fine. Barrier and regeneration will be very nice once we can apply both of these at once. I don't care too much about it as long as I can't level into the level 20 zones, but we are gonna go for that pretty soon. So, you, my flying friend. Seven charge stacks, okay. Considering we have the Scorcher as well, I think that's good. And no one else has skill points, alright. And welcome to Goblinville, where the wild and vicious goblins reside. So, goblins, goblins, goblins. Vulnerable to melee as always. Are you? Are you now? America. So, let's start with the usual. Let's start by buffing up Brutus. And follow that up with, you know what, some might for Brutus. Because why shouldn't we? And then, flurry of blow time. Oh yes, look at that. Dependent on how many times they hit him now. He might actually just kill the archer on his own next turn. Yes, more hits against Brutus. Mm. <laughs> you think you're hurting him, but you're only making him angry. 
So, we are going to restore you, getting rid of those nasty, nasty debuffs there. Mm, I don't think I can stack might, can I? Not with this monster, I think. So, let's hurt the one that actually healed himself like a nasty little killjoy. And... Flurry of Blows! Ooh, almost wiped all of them out. So close, so close. <laughs> ah, I love Brutus, he's such a nice boy, he's such a nice boy! Oh my god, that was a big hit. Ooh, there's our 5 star rating, and a Goblin Warlock Egg! Nice, nice, nice. Um, I think I forgot a chest, didn't I? Yeah, there's a chest there. Can I get that chest? I think I can get the chest if I'm up here and if I use America. Freedom! A 500 gold, nice. Can always need some extra gold. Oh, and there's the next alchemist. Two, three, four sets of goblin ears. That should be enough for at least two more elixirs. It's another one of the alchemists. And it's the one we saw in the blue caves. He's got to be the one who angered the goblins. Huh? Another one of you? No, you are the same one as the one before, aren't ya? Yes, don't deny it. You are the one who defeated my Minotaur champion. And I used quite a fine elixir on that one to turn it. Damn, monster keepers, you're all just simple stones. No eye for the bigger picture at all. Monsters aren't your friends. You pretend to be their guardians even though you are actually their jailers. And for what purpose? Just for this illusion of peace and order? You know, I have no idea how they could be used as tools for anarchy and chaos! I will let loose my monsters on you and show you. Tremble before Ostanis! Well, I guess his name is Ostanis. Hey, oh, it's actually a fight. Okay, we are on the same level here, so that's alright. I think Bruno is still a good start, same as Patrag. I don't know what to do with the mole bear, so just, let's just send the slime in. And start with full utility. Full utility for Brutus here. Uh, I think Azarok, you had something new, didn't you? Ooh, the music be bopping for that fight. Solar ray or encapsule. Do I have regeneration? Okay, you know what? Regeneration for the whole party might be nice to go for. Oh, ah! Why do I always forget it? Why? Why do I always bloody forget it? I mean, it will probably help Brutus just to get us some stacks going. And that's not as many stacks as I would have liked him to get, but what can you do? What can you do? Okay, so in this case, just wait with him. Um, Are we going to remove debuffs? There are not that many debuffs around yet, so what are we going to do instead? Increase sorcery? Yeah, I think increased sorcery might be a good call here. Good, Vertrag is buffed up now. And Solar Rays or Ice Hail. The Grummy is a lot tankier, so I think we should take out the Mole Bear first. Oh, and the mole bear is actually building up as well. But we are going to go for the goblin here. Ah, yeah, that's that's what I want. Couldn't we have do done it one turn earlier? Because that would have actually allowed me to just one-shot the goblin, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I definitely do need to heal there. That's, that's a lot of damage. You did a lot of damage there. Well done, well done. Okay, I've gotten rid of all of those nasty stacks. Is it more important to flurry now? You know what, let's start with the ice hail. And I'm pretty sure flurry gets a double kill now. Let's go Brutus, my boy, yes! Oh, the goblin had the phoenix buff, okay. The goblin is still hanging around for one more turn. Doesn't matter too much to me, another flurry is gonna take it out. You ah, you are gonna king take out the king though. Mmm, I don't like that. Okay, now that the king is dead, let's bring in the Azarak. Let's bring in the Azarak. 
you here? Are you just gonna encapsulate yourself? I think encapsulating. Ah, maybe I should have encapsulated Bruno. Hard to tell, hard to tell. Shadowstorm is gonna take a few things out here though. Big problem is who am I going to kill next? Both of you are weak to fire. The Minotaur seems to be more killable. And there is the armor break. Well done, Brutus, well done. Since you are applying armor break, I might actually want to go for... Ooh, I think Brutus is not gonna make it. Oh, Brutus actually made it, but the Azarak did not, surprisingly enough. Alright. Okay, Scorchy! Could you please apply... Uh, you know what? I think we have to accept the fact that Brutus is going to die here. I don't like it and you don't like it. But I'm pretty sure that it's just gonna be a fact of life at this point. I don't see us getting Brutus through this one. Especially if there's one of those damn healing oaks around. Do kind of need to take care of that as fast as possible. Okay, so let's ignite the oak first. Because we did lose our Azarak. Which is bad, I don't think I have to tell you that. And solar rays against the Minotaur, yes. Because the Minotaur is vulnerable to fire as well. Right now a lot of things are vulnerable to fire. And there we go, good damage all around. So are you gonna kill Brutus or are you just going to allow him to die to poison? And it's a lot of misses there, that's a lot of misses. Okay, and Brutus just straight up dies. Poor Brutus, okay, so both teams... Oh god, you have another move left. Mm, I don't like this, I really don't. So, Marika, you are the last one on our team. Ah, please, Vertrag live. Okay, that's alright. Vertrag, we do need to take out the tree. That's the one thing that I have to say. The tree needs to die. Okay, the tree is dead. We might still be in this. It's gonna be a close one, but I think we can turn this one around. Uh, just let me check my phone real quick. It does not look like... I got a message. Alright. Alright. Because my girlfriend is gonna come home pretty soon, so I am going to wrap it up after this fight. Um, am we, are we going to... Uh, you're weak to magic, so why not? Let's get some regeneration going, and I think you are way easier to take out than the other guy. Solar race! And an expl... Wait. Oh, the explosion is actually physical. Oh, the fool me. Why the fuck is an explosion physical? I mean, I guess they have to do make something with it. Guess you could explain it with shrubs and else and something like that. Ah, I really don't like the Earth Tempest. No, sir, no. Ooh, I don't like this. Can you... Mm. Okay, I think you're dying to the... Are you dying to the Pantic? Let's go for a thunderstorm, just so you are dead. Okay, so... You are the last one, you are acid raining, and... Oh god, the Phoenix... Oh, and then you died to the poison tick anyway. Ah, oh, that sucks. So, what are you vulnerable against? Fire, okay, so let's burn you then. Okay, acid rain, I don't... Oh, it's my weakness? Is it a weakness? I don't know. Okay, the regeneration is doing good work here. I think we are actually getting through this one. It's gonna be clutch, but it's looking good so far. Oh, and there goes my defensive barriers and my regen and everything else that I had. Okay, you just have to leave one more turn. Then you should... Oh my god, we did! Okay, it was not one more turn. Ooh, that was a close one. Ooh! How can this be? Yeah, I'm asking myself the same question right now. Oh, of course. You have the spectral familiar on your side. Without it, you would be so much weaker. 
I think the Spectral Familia wasn't the one putting in the work. There were a lot of boss monsters, I don't know if you noticed, but Jesus Christ, that was a tough fight. Anyway, just because you defeated me doesn't mean I gotta come with you. <laughs> this is why you will never win. Hey, who's that stranger? What's with the weird ominous getup? He's the reason why the goblins are acting up. Oh, I guess it's time for me to run. <laughs> Well, there he goes. Quick, after him! So much for that. We should hurry up as well. We can't let him get away like that. Ah, yes, we can't let him get away like that, but we are gonna stop him next time around. We are gonna stop him next time around. I think that boss fight was a worthy finish for today's stream. Ah, so... We are in the goblin area now. We still have to find our boss there, but we did get some progress there. It's a little bit of a shorter stream today. A little bit of a shorter stream. I think that will be the norm for the next few days, but we are going to get around to this. So, uh, let's see if we can raid someone. Let's see who is there to raid. Is anyone else playing Monster Sanctuary? Or is someone else live right now that I would like to raid? Hey, Temtem is live. It's been a while since I raid... Uh, oh, Temtem is live. Saber is live with Temtem. So let's raid Saber. It's been a while. It's been a while. So... Everyone, be nice to Saber for me. She is a lovely streamer and she is full in, back in full swing with Temtem right now. And I will see you again when I see you. The next stream is gonna be a definite gorilla stream because I don't know. Until then, bye, have a nice time. Have a nice time, everybody, and now stop the streaming button.